Internet Explorer 9 arrived yesterday and was greeted with warm reviews. It's been nearly two years since IE8, and it looks like the time spent developing 9 paid off. Internet Explorer 9 brings much better web standard support, better performance, and hardware acceleration for faster graphics and animations on supported PCs. Reviewers seem to also be taken by the new minimalist interface. And no Clippy. No Clippy. Clippy's been dead for a long time. Never bring him back. <laughs> new Adobe Flash Player, new Adobe Flash Player vulnerability. They kind of go together. Adobe uh, announced a flaw that may cause crashes and potentially permit the hijacking of systems. The issue also affects the company's Reader and Acrobat software products. Adobe has found it's being actively exploited in the wild, too, via a Swift file embedded in an Excel spreadsheet. A uh, fix will come in a patch at the beginning of next week. Uh, according to Bloomberg, Google plans to install thousands of Verifone near-field communication readers, the ones that allow wireless payments at merchants in New York and San Francisco. Google's test, quote, may combine a consumer's financial account information, gift card balances, store loyalty cards, and coupon subscriptions on a single NFC chip on a phone and begin within four months. Rumors are also out that the next iPhone will not have NFC. Wow, combining uh -huh. everything. I can't imagine anything going wrong with that. A lot of controversy today from developers who accuse Apple of intentionally slowing down web apps in order to nudge people towards the App Store. The issue revolves around the fact that JavaScript acceleration exists in the browser in iOS, but not in the rest of the OS. That means a web app saved as a link on the home screen will run slower than one run in the browser. And the debate is whether this is a bug or a feature. Hey, are you uh, paying to watch a movie on the web? You probably gave your money to Netflix. MPD claims Netflix owns 61% of the market for digital movies with Comcast running a distant second at 8%. There's a three-way tie for third between DirecTV, Time Warner Cable, and Apple. MPD also says digital video, quote, now makes up one quarter of all home video volume. Wow. That's getting to be real right there. Yeah. The National Cable and Telecommunications Association, that's the uh, cable's industry trade organization, has a new boss. He's a familiar face. Former FCC chair Michael Powell will become the cable industry's top lobbyist. He replaces former National Cable and Telecommunications Association President Kyle McSlero, who said last week he'll be joining Comcast. Oh. What a surprise. <laughs> Goodbye, Google Gears. Google's first attempt at providing offline access to web apps. Google is removing the software from Chrome, indicating the definite wind down of the project. Almost said wind down. Here will, here will be no new Gears pieces. And newer browsers such as Firefox 4 and Internet Explorer 9 will not be supported. We will also be removing Gears from Chrome in Chrome 12. Gears is survived by standards like HTML5's application cache. So many technologies dying these days. All right, let's uh, finish up with the Nintendo 3DS getting its first commercials. Uh, and Gadget has both the UK and the US version. Uh, and frankly, the UK, UK usually has good commercials, but the, this is... They, they didn't do a good job with this one. It's a little retro. Yeah. No, let's...